you know, once you do find your frequency on something, it, go forward if you're a non-tyrant and don't ask permission. And that's the not giving a damn part. I've found that the world will actually acquiesce and go, yeah, I'll give you a green light on that. If you actually go forward and mean it, like you're, and you're going to do it by looking back to and not ask permission. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it. Get on it. And yes, most things are more rewarding when you break a sweat to get them. Sit here in that discomfort long enough to go, okay, until you come out the other side to go, all right, I'm good with me again. I don't want to leave a place I travel to until I get to the point of going, ah, I could live here. This could be my existence. And as soon as I get to that point, then I'm like, okay, you can go. Now I can go. It's the same thing in the personal journeys. Stick with it until you get through the discomfort, the uncomfortable times, until you go, you know what? I can spend time with myself. I could do this. I could do this forever. Well, then it's okay to go re-engage, pick up your phone, go see your friends, go have a drink, what have you. Go look for those things that are, are the other relationships in life. But hopefully not until. There's great value in not doing that until you go, I'm good with me and me for right now. So many of us, whatever those things are, whatever it is we look up to, whatever it is we look forward to, and whoever it is we're chasing, to that I say amen. To that I say all right, all right, all right. See, happiness is an emotional response to an outcome. If I win, I will be happy. If I don't, I won't. It's an if then cause and effect, quid pro quo, standard that we cannot sustain because we immediately raise it every time we attain it. See, happiness demands a certain outcome. It is result reliant. And I say if happiness is what you're after, then you're gonna be let down frequently and you're gonna be unhappy much of your time. Joy though, joy is a different thing, it's something else. Joy is not a choice. It's not a response to some result. It's a constant. Joy is the feeling that we have from doing what we are fashioned to do. It is just as important where we are not as it is where we are. Look, the first step that leads to our identity in life is usually not, I know who I am, I know who I am. That's not the first step. The first step's usually, I know who I am not. Process of elimination. Defining ourselves by what we are not is the first step that leads us to really knowing who we are. South of New Orleans, uh, a few years ago, and I went to a voodoo shop. Uh, and they had this, this, this wooden partition against the wall, these columns. And in, in these columns were all these vials of these magic potions, right? And the headings above each potion, defining what they would give you, were things like fertility, health, uh, family, legal health, energy, forgiveness, money. <laughs> Guess which column was empty? Money. Let's admit it. Money is king today. It's what make the world, makes the world go round. It is success. The more we have, the more successful we are, right? And I would argue that our cultural values have even been financialized. Uh, humility is not the goal anymore. It's too passive. It's a get rich quick on the internet, riches 15 minutes of fame world that we live in, and we see it every day. But we all want to succeed, right? So the question that we got to ask ourselves is what success is to us, what success is to you. Is it more money? That's fine. I got nothing against money. No? Maybe it's a healthy family. Maybe it's a happy marriage. Maybe it's to help others, to be famous, to be spiritually sound, to leave the world a little bit better place than you found it. Continue to ask yourself that question. Now your answer may change over time, and that's fine. But do yourself this favor. Whatever your answer is, don't choose anything that will jeopardize yourself. 
Prioritize who you are, who you want to be, and don't spend time with anything that antagonizes your character. Don't drink the Kool-Aid, man. It tastes sweet, but you will get cavities tomorrow, all right? Life is not a popularity contest. Be brave, take the hill, but first answer that question, what's my hill?